I'm Amanda Wright from KET. Today, we're gonna talk about accidents happen if you're lucky. What do I mean accidents happen if you're lucky? Well, have you ever spilt paint or maybe torn the corner of your paper? Sometimes that might make you upset, but other times it might lead to new and exciting discoveries. Let's watch this video from The Cat in the Hat Knows a Lot About That. In the video, Nick and Sally learn that they have to be patient and see what accidents can lead to. You never know what you'll find. Let's watch. Cat, what are you gonna paint? I don't know yet. Hmm. Whoa! <gasps> Sorry, Cat. That's okay, Sally. It was only an accident. And accidents can be wonderful things. They can? Yes. Now, some people fret about making mistakes, but I've got a message for you. The greatest inventors rely on mistakes to help them create something new. When accidents happen, they give us a chance to see things a whole different way. I truly believe it, I've seen it myself, and that is why I always say... Accidents happen if you're lucky. Try to keep an open mind. Because when you look at things another way, you never know what you might find. If you have a spill, as many of us will, that's no time for feeling sad. Look and you might see what a healthy thing might be. And think a thought you never had. Accidents happen if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Try to keep an open mind. Gotta keep an open mind. Because when you look at things another way. Look at things another way. You, you never, never know, know, never, never know, know, never know, know what you might find. Hey! Do you think that Sally meant to sit on the cat's hat in the video? Was it an accident or was it on purpose? What is an accident? Well, an accident is a mistake that we make. It's something that we didn't mean to do. What's some, doing something on purpose? On purpose means it's a choice that we make. We mean to do something. In the video, what did the cat do on purpose with the splatter of paint? That's right, he turned it upside down, added a bow tie and a hat, and made it look like himself, that cat. Have you ever read the book, It Looked Like Sp Spilled Milk? This is a book by Charles Shaw. If you haven't read it, you can visit your local library and check it out. In this book, we learn different ways to look at things. Have you and your sister ever gone outside and looked at the clouds? Maybe you saw a dog in the clouds, but she saw a cat. You had a different perspective. What does perspective mean? Well, perspective is a way of looking at things, and you had different perspectives. You saw a dog, and she saw a cat. Now it's our turn to make some art and look with a different perspective. Here are the supplies that you will need. I have a box top, but maybe you have a cookie tray at home or a shoe box top. You can use both of those. You're also gonna need some paint, some paper, and maybe a marble or a bouncy ball. All right, let's get started. You're gonna start by putting your paper in your tray Add a little paint. You don't need a whole lot. Let's add in some orange. And now my favorite color, blue. And then just add in your marbles. And swish it around and see what happens. Sometimes you might have to help the marbles. All right, let's see what we made. Here are some pictures that I've already done. My daughter helped me look at them and we came up with some really interesting perspectives. In this one, we saw flowers. What do you see? In this one, I 
see puddles and duck feet. This is probably my favorite. You can see here that I've circled two flamingos. In this last picture, I saw a spider web with raindrops, but my daughter saw a fire breathing dragon. What do you see? Today, we have talked about different perspectives. Accidents happen and you can make new discoveries, especially if you look at it with a different perspective. If you're interested in reading some more books, you can read The Beautiful Oops, No One Saw, The Dot, or maybe you're interested in mixing colors and reading Mix It Up. If you still want to learn more, you can visit pbskids.org or the PBS Kids Game app and find lots of art activities. Around the house, you can take a chip can and put some paper and marble and art down there and swish it up and see what you see. Or maybe you just want to take some paper, some paint, put them together and see what you can see. Thank you for joining me today. I've had fun investigating and exploring with you and taking a different look. If you'd like to find more activities to do together as a family, visit KET.org slash kids.